Okay guys, what's going on? Today I'm talking to you about the chin mounts. Chin mount. <laughs> I actually been waiting a long time for this thing. Um, it's a 3D printed chin mount made specifically for basically any helmet out there. So you just put in what helmet you're using and it pulls up on their website, chinmounts.com, uh, exactly the one that fits. And as you can see, I know I've talked to you guys about this before, but my particular helmet has a little bit of a different face there and I wanna be able to still utilize uh, this vent here. And normally when I wear the uh, kind of just generic a uh, chin mount that you can just kind of lace through the front. You can't close the screen. It kind of messes with this this right here. It kind of scrunches this up, which I don't like. And uh, as well, I just want to keep this clean, right? I want it to look good. I don't want to have to kind of take it on and off every single time. And I wanted something that fit this, this area perfectly because the GoPro ones uh, don't actually work so, for my helmet. So let's give this an open and see how it goes. So that's what it looks like there. Very basic, just some 3M tape there. And I'm just gonna see that it fits. Oh, perfect. Fits on there like a glove. Just absolutely perfect down in there. I mean, I just felt it lock in when I put it on there. Just perfect. So I can still utilize my vent. It'll, it'll be a little bit difficult. I will say it'll probably be a little bit difficult to utilize that vent to it to the best, you know? All right, so the directions say that I need to take a blow dryer or a hair dryer to this for a couple of seconds to kind of heat up and activate the 3M tape, so let's do that. Uh, also, we have this little alcohol swab, so we have to swab the front of the helmet. Let's actually do that before we blow dry. I want this seal to be really good. I don't want my GoPro falling off while I'm going down the road, so that's pretty important. It actually also comes with this safety leash, so you can, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there too, so I'm gonna put it over here to the right. And then I can figure out where I wanna put it after. The reason I'm putting it on the right is because I also have my Senna on the left-hand side, so just seems like a little bit of balance is necessary even though it's not heavy at all. All right, let's get this thing going. All right, so it says as soon as the alcohol is dry, I'm just gonna give a little wipe just to make sure. All right, so it looks pretty good. This is warm. I'm going to take the, pull out the sticker off. Ooh, that's sticky. I can tell it's sticky. So now they say if you don't put this correctly, um, let me just make sure. Just apply some pressure once you get it on there real good. Uh, they do say that if for whatever reason you need to move this around and you don't like the placement, um, they say that you can just take the hair dryer to it again and give it a little bit more of a, of a heat there and it'll allow you to scoot it around a little bit. All right, I think I, I think I got it on there pretty good and it looks like it fits pretty nicely. It actually, uh, I had it a little high a minute ago when I was showing you, but you know, I've still got complete use of this, no problem, uninhibited. So that's pretty nice. That looks pretty good. And it's super light, super, super light on there. So after you just give it, they say that you need to wait 24 hours after you've put this on before using it, just to make sure that it seals well. And uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this little safety leash on the side. Only problem. Oh, I get, that's nice. You can take you can take it on and off because I didn't want to ride with this thing just flapping around on my helmet. But I am gonna put this on there just in case. My GoPro is a Hero 10 and it's new. I really don't want to lose that. So let's heat this up again. Normally I wouldn't bother with this. The only issue is um, when I'm recording audio on my helmet, I'm actually just using um, the media mod. And normally like when I used to do filming on my helmet, what I was using is I was using like a underwater housing. And so then if it falls off, like there's tons of videos of it being just fine. But now that I'm just using the media mod, that thing's gonna shatter if it comes off my helmet. So. I'm just gonna put it on just like that. 
And that's it. I am screwed for resale value on this thing. <laughs> Um, I have no clue how I would ever get this stuff off, you know, it is what it is, right? So I think that looks pretty solid. So now I've got to wait 24 hours before I can actually mount the GoPro on or, you know, ride with the GoPro on here. I'm going to go ahead and mount it up just so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay. So I'm just using the regular GoPro little clip mount here that I've got, and it's got this little sealer on it that kind of seeds it once it gets through. So let's see what it looks like. So I actually don't know what the issue is here. I cannot seem to push that little rubber thing down to fully seal it, but it looks like it's pretty well locked in in there. I don't know if you guys can see that okay, but it looks, it looks you know, decently locked in there. And so that's what it looks like all set up. And they say that the GoPro kind of sits it looks like it's pointed up, but when you're riding your, your helmet, of course, it's facing down just a little bit. So it actually ends up being the perfect angle that you want to shoot at anyways. So that's what it looks like on. I think it's actually pretty clean looking, so much cleaner than the system I'm using at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and just take this off. I'll show you guys, you know, how easy it is just to take the GoPro off. I'm just going to pinch these two together and voila, slides right off not a big deal so there you go that is the chin mounts chin mount for the scorpion exo r1 air and they make them for all different kinds of helmets so if you guys are looking for a custom chin mount that is light that is uh, cheap i think i paid 30 bucks for this thing um brand new off their website. They have tons of different little tools and uh, different little inserts you can get for the chin mount for putting your GoPro in there. So this thing is absolutely great. All right, so it's been 24 hours now and the chin mount is looking awesome on the helmet. Really like this product. Um, they did not sponsor this video, but I do really like this product and I just love how simple it is and there's no other uh, laces going through the helmet. It's just simple. It's on the helmet, it's there, it's light, let's go. So absolutely love this. If you guys are looking for a possibly new chin mount for your helmet, consider chinmounts.com. I definitely think it's a great product. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna go out there and ride. So maybe I'll see you guys out there, ride safe, and we'll see you on the pavement.